Hey everyone, welcome to another video in this playlist. In this playlist, we'll be talking about Spark Structure Streaming introduction. So I'll be introducing you to the concepts of Spark Structure Streaming. And I'll also show you how to read data from Kafka using Spark Structure Streaming. So let's get started. So if I talk about this flow, right? So basically you'll have a source, right? So you can think about that your data is getting added every hour. So as a business use case, what you can do is like you can have a Spark batch processing which reads data like every hour. So you can schedule this particular batch processing and you can get the data for whatever was added in uh, one hour and you process it and you store it into target. So this is the usual way that how we use batch processing to get the data from source to the transformation and then store it to target. But uh, let's think about this scenario, right? So you have a source where your so data gets added every 10 seconds. What you want to do is you want to process this data as soon as it gets added. So you can think about this source is a Kafka topic where you, you have some producers, you have some IoT devices from where you're getting all the data like every 10 seconds and you're pushing it to Kafka and you want to process it. Now, how do you do that? right so let's think about this uh, what happened is suppose at 10 a.m you get like thousand records in kafka similarly at 10 10 means after 10 seconds you get like uh, uh, 1200 records again similarly for other windows so every 10 seconds you're getting some amount of data like thousand records 1200 records so if you think about this is the unbounded data right so you can do a window that okay between this to this i got these records now what spark structure streaming will do is this will consider this as a batch of records so at 10 am you got like thousand records it will think okay it's a batch data right so i have to process this data i have to store it to the target similarly it will go to you will say okay at 10 10 I got like 200 records. I'll process it, I'll store it to target. So from a developer perspective, it's nothing new, right? It's a micro batching. So you divide the data in terms of time, correct? So at, uh, you create a window that, okay, I have a window of 10 seconds. So whatever data I get, I'll process it, I'll store it to target. So Spark Structure Streaming work on micro batching. It creates the batching of records. It process it like a batch. But uh, you don't, as a developer, you don't have to worry about like how many records are there, how to process it. You just write the code of any batch processing, and Spark Structure Streaming will apply it to micro batches. We'll see like how we are doing this. So these are the some of the features of Spark Structure Streaming. So near real time processing, so it creates a micro batch. So you can define the micro batch like five seconds, two seconds, one second, and you can process the data in that. You have a fault tolerance because it's it's uh, end of the day it's a Spark uh, program, right? So if any fault tolerance, it can it can tolerate those faults. Incremental processing. Uh, we'll we'll talk about checkpoints where suppose you already read some of the data from Kafka, so it can do incremental processing. So whatever data you have already read, it, it, it will skip it and it will read only the newer data. So we'll talk about more in details while we'll be talking about checkpointing. Micro batching, we already talked about. Easy to prototype. We'll see like uh, we can write a batch job as a prototype and then convert it as a streaming job, correct? So it's very intuitive to think about like as a batch job, then you can just easy uh, change the API and it will, it will be converted as a Spark structure streaming with near real time processing. So I hope that uh, the concept of Spark structure streaming is clear to you now. Now let's get on one program where we are reading data from Kafka. So I have already written the program. So if you see that it will be very similar to what Kafka consumer that we have written in Python. So the concepts are relatively similar, right? So you, you use 
the some uh, kafka configuration like kafka bootstrap server what's the kafka topic so we had already created this topic and we had already pushed some data correct you have similar kafka config i think we have already seen this uh, in kafka consumer but regarding like how to give your username and password right so we had created api keys so if i go about like confluent cloud you have some api keys correct so this api keys is nothing but just like a username and password so that's something you have to provide in a jazz config so you have to provide username and the password correct as starting offset i think we talked about this in kafka consumer from where do you want to read the data so it's earlier so early as possible right so let me just show you uh, how basically you have in batch processing right so in batch data this is how you do right you do like spark dot read you define the format you define some for option and you define some where you from where you want to read the data right so it's a batch processing api similarly you have some uh, you have relatively similar api for any spark structure streaming all this is changing is you from read you convert it to read stream because it's now a stream of data right you define format so it will be kafka because we are reading from kafka you define the option that you need then you just do a load right so kafka is one of the input source for spark structure streaming so if you go to if you search for kafka uh, sorry if you search for spark structure streaming uh, input sources you reach it to this particular documentation so if you see there that there are some input sources like file source you can read files from a given directory so this is one very popular use case of you know, spark structure streaming you can uh, use kafka source so these are all inbuilt sources and for testing you can you can use socket source rate source and other right so you can read more about this but uh, in today's video we'll be talking about kafka source how to read from kafka so uh, what i'm gonna do is let me comment comment this so if you see that how easier it is to write spark structure streaming api right just convert from read to read spring read stream then provide the configuration right and uh, once you got this stream right and kafka serialize whenever you're sending in data it gets serialized right so you have to convert this as a string because the key and value that we are sending this is our format of uh, string so i'm just doing a type casting and then i'll do a uh, display so this is a method in databricks so if you want to see how what are the records you can do a display so this is just an action right let me run this okay so it it started to read the data if you see that we have uh, read already read 10 rows and if i go to my kafka topic so this is the topic and you see if you see that there are already 10 messages right so it already read 10 messages that's why there are 10 rows now let me produce some new messages so i'll go to sample producer and I'll just run this so it will generate 10 more records and as soon as you get the data in kafka if you see that spark structure streaming will start reading those values as well right if you see that it started reading those records there are 16 records is already read right 18 records it will go till 20 correct and and if you're running spark structure streaming in databricks so you can just run this particular display query and you'll get a dashboard of it it will show you like how much input versus processing time so it, it will talk about like how many roads it had processed right and how much time it took then you will get a batch duration so we'll be talking about batch duration and aggregation state but this is a nice uh, dashboard to look into like how many records we are processing how much time it is taking right so this is a very simple program to show you like how to read the data from kafka there's a lot of topics involved here that i'll be talking about like trigger modes uh, window operation how to maintain the state so there is a lot of uh, important topics and a lot of interesting topic involved so i'm really excited now we are getting into the crust of spark structure streaming with kafka so in the next videos that you'll be getting those will be very interesting 
and where we are going into depth of spark structure stimming. So I hope that you enjoyed this lecture. So, so I'll recommend you to produce some messages into Kafka topic, read from Spark Structure Streaming, and maybe you can do some transformation here and do some aggregation and uh, just print it and do some filtration. So you'll get used to like how to use this Spark Structure Streaming API, right? So we have already discussed all the how do we produce data from Kafka producer. So you can check out that lecture and you can come here and read data from here. So with this, I'll end this video and I'll sing the next one.